I know I graduated the intern program and all, but I'll bet if I snuck in a little extra credit work, that would really irritate Norma. Excuse me, Agent Forsyth? Yes, Rasputin? I just wanted to apologize. No, no, no. I thought we agreed not to talk about that again. We did? Listen, in the end, I was the adult in the room. You were the child. I take full responsibility. And the whole thing is just so embarrassing, so let's just move the mission log to the classified file, okay? What are you doing out here? Well, just relaxing, waiting for my flight to the tropics. I'm off the clock, but I'm happy to answer any non-work-related questions. Where will you go on your vacation? Oh, well, Agents 9 and Vodella were nice enough to give me this all-expense-paid tropical vacation. Look. That thing's real? Well, it better be. That prescription sunblock I bought wasn't cheap. So, what will you do with Crystal Malik? Well, we don't want any publicity about it, or we'd have to give up malig- Lucretia. So we'll probably just keep Malik here. Maybe give him to Agent 9 for experiments. Experiments? You're going to experiment on Crystal? Heavens no! That's terrible. Why would you say such a thing? You said- I said we'd give him to Sasha for therapy. But- No one likes an argumentative preteen, Rasputin. Will you miss being the acting head of the Psychonauts? Not a bit. In fact, my main goal now is to convince Truman to put off retirement as long as I can. He's been threatening me with the title of Grand Head for years. But I do not need the grief. Do you want Ford to come back and work at headquarters? Absolutely. Nobody gets my hair like Agent Crawler. What will you do with Lucretia? I'd like to keep her under observation. What about the government? The Grulovian secret police? Please, this is Psychonauts' business. I'll bet you're happy my family is leaving soon. Actually, I've invited them to stay. What? I see a lot of potential in that sister of yours, and your little brother, and even your father. Are you going to make my family into Psychonauts? Well, we should at least teach them psycho-safety. Can't have them running loose, leaving a trail of burning pine cones behind them. Well, have fun on vacation. Thanks, Rasputin. If I see an octopus while snorkeling, I'll think of you. Right before I shoot it with my spear gun. And then I was like, Dad! And you just moaned, Caviar! No! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It wasn't you. You were locked up in a brain case far away. Oh, if only every brainless father had a daughter like you to save him. Oh, hi guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Young man, I still haven't thanked you for saving me from the rhombus of ruin. Lily told me all about it. I merely did what any psychonaut would do. Please don't hold against me what that twisted little man said with my tongue. Oh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Except when And you... please don't tell me about it either. My daughter has already told me far too much. Forget about it, Pops. It was a phase. All dads go through it. <laughs> How's the brain reintegration going? Perfect. No side effects at all. Porpoise Sally and a ball? Oh? Huh? You little trickster. Trying to make me think I have brain damage. <laughs> you got me. That's only gonna be funny for a few more years. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. I'm sorry, but I might have broken into your presidential locker on the jet. As long as you didn't break the music box that was inside. It was my mother's. Well, we did. But then Raz went inside of it, using clairvoyance on a flea, and fixed it! What an enterprising young man. Did you tell your dad about what happened at camp? Raz! No! Oh, well, now you have to tell me. It was no big deal. Oleander was stealing children's brains and using them as weapons in armored death tanks. Oh, is that all? Good. 
I thought it was something more worrying, like kissing. I've heard that happens a lot at summer camps. Dad, <laughs> gross. Well, I'll let you two get back to talking about me. Bye, Raz. Hello, Agent Mentalis. Well, if it isn't my favorite customer. Make any new gadgets lately? Actually, I'm thinking of a whole new line of gadgets. Gadgets that open up the mind for exploration, like in the old days. Wasn't that dangerous the way you early psychonauts used to explore the mind? Seeing that old astrolathe really inspired me. I'm going to make tiny, personal-sized astrolathes to help people make small cosmetic changes to their personalities. Like how an injectable neurotoxin removes wrinkles, but uh, for the mind. I don't think it's a good idea to remove your mind's wrinkles. That's because you're a kid. Trust me, by the time you're my age, there will be plenty of wrinkles in that mind of yours you'll be happy to get rid of. Happy that Ford's back? You know, I missed that old abusive so-and-so. You need a guy around like that to keep you humble. Why is that? I don't know. It's just something Ford keeps telling me. Was it weird seeing your old friend Lucy again? You know, I was the one who brought Lucy here the first time, so I feel a little responsible. Really? No, not much. It was all Ford's fault. What's gonna happen now with Ford back? Knowing Ford, things will get chaotic and we'll lose all our funding. But that's okay. I have a backup plan. To tell you the truth, I've been fighting off the venture capitalists for years. Maybe you should get out of this lonely lab. Ah, uh, I'm fine. I have my gadgets. And a pretty friendly crab sandwich scuttled by a while back. Bye, Otto. See you next time, kid. Crystal Malik was their voice. Cruelovia, Cruelovia, his father was a dope. Cruelovia, Cruelovia, he is our hope. Those lyrics aren't true, you know. I was there, you weren't. But look, what's past is past. Why don't you let me out of here? Nope. Sorry. I'm sure they'll let you out of here after your trial or whatever. Ha! <laughs> right. Trial. You don't know the Psychonauts. Haven't you learned anything from this? Yes! Never meet your heroes. Maligula. What a disappointment. No lessons learned at all? Okay, yes. Maybe I was wrong about a lot of things. But I could make it all right if I were Zah. Being Zah means never having to say you're sorry. Well, good luck in there, Crystal. Glory to Grulovia! Wait, wait, wait. What could you two have to talk about? Not you, if that's what you're worried about. Your brother has some ideas about psychics. Did you know that psychic powers don't come from drinking human blood? Uh, yes. What else did you learn, Dion? Did you know fortune tellers didn't actually invent bed bugs? Give me one more. Crystal balls aren't actually fortune teller eggs. Actually, I still half believe that one. Dion, where did you get all these weird ideas about psychics? Dad? Queepy told me most of them. Oh, I get it now. Dion, where did you get all these weird ideas about psychics? Dad? Queepy told me most of them. Oh, I get it now. Is that another new kid? Hi, Mom. Putty, 
my middle baby. So glad you are here. Much work to do. What work? Now that you have lifted the evil curse on our family, I just pointed out that it was all in our minds. Yes, yes. You believe what you must believe. Either way, it opens up so many possibilities. This is going to be a new golden age of the Aquato family circus. Water axe? We will finally earn our name. Think Dad will be okay? Eventually. You know, I think there was a part of him that always knew. This may finally bring him peace. Why don't you go talk to him? He's probably up high somewhere, staring off into space. Handsomely. Did you know the truth about Nona? Well, she did always seem a little off to me. But I thought that was just a mother-in-law thing. Will he be lost again? You've taught me that sometimes you must let your children roam free. Because that's how we learn. Because they have psychic powers they can use to crush all who oppose them, hmm? I have some ideas for water acts. I'm listening. Trapeze over Shark Tank. How do we transport sharks, Rasputin? Next idea. Underwater tightrope? Not dangerous enough. Try again. Wet blanket fighting. Terrible. Next. Dog washing. Ugh, what else? On second thought, never mind. You've convinced me to avoid collaboration for the time being. I'm gonna get back to my important spy stuff. Don't forget to check on your father, Mr. Big Man of the World. Hey, Dad. Hello, son. How do you feel about Nona now? How can I answer that? She's at the center of so many painful events. But in the end, she might be the one who suffered the most. How are you doing? I'm not quite sure. So many things to think about. Are your memories changing? I don't even know which memories are mine. I have memories of my mother from before she died and I miss her. But I also have a lifetime of memories with Nona. It's giving me a bit of an identity crisis. Tell me about your identity crisis. Well, memories are stories we tell ourselves about where we come from. It's how we figure out who we are. And the story I've been telling myself all my life is a lie. Are you mad at Ford? I feel tricked and confused. But that man, he's put himself through enough. What are you gonna do now? I think I'm going to let this whole mess simmer for a bit in the back of my mind while I focus on making some new stories for the family. So, is Nona still in the family? Well, she's still our blood, Rasputin. And she always will be. As far as where she'll live now, that's up to her. She's with Ford right now in the Green Needle Gulch, trying to answer that very question. What about the circus? Oh, son, that's going to be something now. The Aquatos have some great water tricks we haven't used in a generation. It's time for the Aquatos Family Circus to rise again! You feel like you're free of the water curse? Oh, yes, I feel great about it now. Later today, I'm thinking we should all go for a swim. That little army fellow offered to give us all swimming lessons. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I never mind talking to you, son. We psychics understand each other, right? Hi there. Rasputin. I have much on my mind. But I want you to know that in my heart, you 
are my grandson. My second favorite grandson. Well, that certainly sounds like something my Nona would say. What are you two gonna do now? We're gonna recuperate here for a bit. <sighs> Make sure Lucy's okay. Oh, I'm fine! Thanks to little Queepy here. Think you'll come back to work at the mother lobe, Agent Crawler? Well, I need to spend at least a little time there, or else those bowling alley shoes are gonna sprout legs and walk away. But I'd also love to take Lucy to Whisper and Rock. He thinks if he gives me on the canoe at sunset that I won't be able to resist his advances. <laughs> okay, that's enough. He's right. Okay! What's next for the Psychonauts, Agent Crawler? Well, I'm not sure, but, uh... If I have any influence, we'll get back to basics. Exploring the human mind. There's still so much mystery to explore there, Rasputin. If you're going to give your final frontier speech, I'm going to close my eyes and sleep for a bit. You keep talking. Well, I thought it was interesting. Have you talked to my dad yet? Not yet. Do you, uh, think he'd talk to me? I think my dad will need a little time. But, you know what they say about acrobats? They're they very always flexible. bounce back! <laughs> well, I hope both are true. I'll leave you two alone. Stay away from the water! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Old habit. Scanning access granted. Hey, it's Bob over there. Oh, and Helmet's brain. What are you two up to? We're planning our mission to rescue Helmet's body in Grulovia. Then after that, we're gonna buy a treadmill and rescue Bobby's body. <laughs> How are you gonna find Helmet's body? Ford and Otto tried for so long. They didn't have Helmut to help. Yeah, and I should be able to sense my body's location better than they could. <laughs> and we won't give up until we find it. Gonna be like a second honeymoon. Good luck on your mission, guys. I just get sad thinking of that poor body out in the cold. I've had some opening nights that prepared me for much colder. Hi, Lizzie. Norma. Look. Call me a snitch. 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 But after all was said and done, it ended up helping, didn't it? No. It interrupted my work with Ford, provoked Maligula, and almost drowned everybody. You should feel lucky, Raz. She's been helping me my whole life. I did it! I got all the mission critical Psychonauts assets. Get over yourself, kid. It's just a scavenger hunt. But here, I managed to pull this out of the trash for you. Why do you care so much for these old clothes, anyway? I don't really. I just left a bunch of money in a pants pocket. No, you didn't, because I... Liar. You don't have the mental energy to do it yourself. Woo! I'm an airplane! Hey, Coach. Really getting some use out of that swimming tail. Just doing some research for the amphibious assault capabilities of my death bot. I didn't know your robot had amphibious assault capabilities. Neither did I, until I took a spin in this, baby. Does that tail make swimming easier? Wanna try it? I better not. I'm still learning how to swim. Yeah, you're right. But I don't want you stretching it out. <laughs> Agent 9, Podello. Oh, hello, fellow Psychonaut. Yes, that's right, Agent Aquato. I like the sound of that. Agent Aquato. This is the greatest moment of my life. Are you both hanging around here or going back to camp? Well, I did leave my car there. And there's a new batch of children coming in a week. There's more kids coming to Whispering Rock this summer? Of course. Whispering Rock is one of the main revenue makers for the Psychonauts these days. 
what's going to happen to Crystal Malik? I need to run some experiments on him. You mean tests, Sasha? Oh, yes, therapeutic test. Mostly harmless. Remember the time we fought off those brain tanks? That was cool. Oh, that feels like 20 years ago. That reminds me, I need to get back to my lab. Lobato should be waking up any moment. You left Dr. Lobato tied up in your lab? Not tied up. I just used the brain tumbler to sedate him. Wow, that thing can do anything. See you next mission. Get some rest, young man. And thank you for all your help, darling. Dr. Lobato, where do you think you're going? The green man told me to wait in the brain bumbler. That's not the brain tumbler. Oh, I guess I'm escaping then. Bye! Please don't tell. You know I'm a reformed man. You were there. You saw me. Hmm. Plus, I need to get back to camp. I left my kid there. Wait, what? Inside, Raz. We're almost there. You're doing so well, darling. Why am I pregnant? There's no time, Raz. Lobato's consciousness is about to erupt out of your psychic uterus. What? You're doing really, really well, Raz. I don't need to hear that. Mia, I need that clown makeup. I'm almost done. Quickly, Raz. Kiss this piglet's behind. Lobato was almost defeated for good. I don't I remember any of this. You want to remember this? No. That's what I thought. Push. 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 Ugh, not that dream again.